Hi everybody, my name is Jessica and this is my channel Plant Hooker. Now, I have a dilemma. Uh, my videos for the next little bit are going to be probably on the less edited side of things. Mostly because my editing system that I was using beforehand has become obsolete on my computer. Because my computer, I guess in today's day and age, would be considered from the Stone Age. Because I have a Windows 7 that I I purchased the, my computer second hand five years ago. And I think the person that had it before me maybe had it for five to seven years. So I'll be like doing my videos like this. I have one of my old videos, like my rug hooking videos, playing in the background. So then I have music in the background. <laughs> And I'll just upload them to YouTube like this. So I'm hoping that they'll somewhat be okay. Because my original plan was, oh, I'll just do them live and then I don't have to worry about anything. But I, I, I don't have enough subscribers to be able to do live videos because you need at least 50 subscribers to do live videos. And, and I only have 43, so sorry. I'm trying. But uh, anyways. To the plant at hand, I brought out my Purple Heart Spider Wort. Now I know it's not purple, and I will explain that in a second. Uh, also called the Tritascantia pallida. No, I think it's also known as the Tritascantia pale puma and the Tritascantia purple queen I think but now the reason why mine is green is because I have mine in low light the reason why I have mine in low light because Tritoscantias all of them are toxic to cats and we love Gwen my suicidal cat because I see her right there she's sleeping so I hope she doesn't notice me doing this guy now, the reason why I have him is because this was a gift from my brother. Uh, him and his wife had got kittens for their boys for Christmas, and he didn't want to have toxic plants in his house for the just in case they were dumb cats, like some of the ones I have. So I, the intent was for me to take it and find it a new home. But I couldn't dare part with it because it was my brother's and just in case they ever want it back. Oh, there you go. Yeah. <clears throat> so I have it. This is currently in my bedroom. It is about, oh my goodness, quite a ways away from a south facing window and the, the two grow lights that I have in my bedroom. Because, like, the south-facing window would be there, and it would be on, like, maybe, I think my hallway stops here. So it would be, like, from here to there. And that's why it's more to the green side than the purple side. Because when you have these guys in bright light, excuse me, in bright light, they get, like, a deep purple. Almost like the Persian shield that I have, a royal purple plant whichever name it goes by. Uh, and they can get long, longer than this. See, I only can let mine grow two feet because where I have it hanging and how far it has to be off the ground is so then Gwen can't get to it. And where it's hanging in the room, there's no shelves. There's nothing it, she can jump to to get to it. And my room, because in case she tries to do it at night, I can like pay attention and stop her. Yeah, but this one is about two feet long, so 60 centimeters, and they can get longer. Like they, I've seen really, really beautiful pictures of these guys. And like you can see where sometimes they're facing more towards the light, they have like just a slight well, you can't really see it on the camera, but 
they kind of have a touch of a purple hue. But what I do is as soon as it starts to get below the two feet, I cut it and then I propagate it. So then I'm trying to get my top to be a little more bushier. Now these guys are native to the Gulf Coast region of Eastern Mexico and they were discovered around 1907. Uh, I'm not sure if that means all Tradescantias or just this kind of Tradescantia. And these guys can flower. Yeah, they can, their flowers can anywhere be between white, pink, and purple. Yeah. And another great thing about these guys is the Tradescantias and the spiderwort. These guys can clean the air just like the spider plants and corn plants and peace lilies. However, I don't believe they're as good as them, but they are part of the top 10. Now, when it comes to watering, I'll water this guy between 14 and 24 days, <clears throat> depending on how much I had the heat on, the wood stove going, time of the year, or the days are longer or shorter. Because uh, they are a medium demand of, on water. So uh, moisture meter level two is the best to let them go down to. If they are at a three, you can still water them. But they prefer for like the top two inches to be dry before they do get watered. And I watered him not that the other day, so he doesn't need any. Uh, when it comes to fertilizer though, the fertilizer that's uh, all purpose or the one that's strictly for green plants is great for them. And about once a month is what they prefer. That would be like the best times to fertilize them. Now, no need to clean these guys. They don't like to be clean because I used to clean him and he seemed to like throw a bit of a fit. But uh, you can like more or less dust them because, and here's an example, this is an Angus hair. Uh, and they are fuzzy, so I think that's why you don't really need to clean them. But dusting would be okay to get like hairs and stuff off of them. Uh, you can miss them. They can, I do him about once a week. Uh, but they can handle normal humidity. So... If you don't feel like missing them, you don't have to. Me, it's because if I'm missing everybody in the room, well, I might as well miss him too. Now, the ideal temperatures for these guys are between 18 and 25 degrees Celsius. And if you're in a hardiness zone 8B, he can go outside year round. Now, because I'm in a 5A, 5B here on Cape Breton, he can only go outside between June and September. Now, when it comes to soil, now the best soil for these guys are the tropical or all purpose, but add in some extra drainage, like either vermiculite or perlite. He, the soil that I currently have him in, uh, it's a conglomerate of all purpose, perlite and orchid bark. Cause I had done up my orchids and I like to recycle things, so I figured I'll just use, put the old orchid bark in here so to use it as extra drainage. And he seems to do fine with it. All his propagations do well when they go back in here. Now when it comes to pest, I've personally not had to deal with any pests with these this guy, which has been fantastic. But they can be played with mealybugs, fungus gnats, and thrips. I hate this so much. I was cleaning my Hoya Carnosa Silver Splash and I found this on it, so I had to like, switch from regular water to rubbing alcohol to try and kill them. And I'll be spraying him tonight as well. Now, some of the common problems with these guys is, of course, a rotting base. What, what plant doesn't deal with rotting bases and that is a sign of overwatering. Now when it comes to spindly growth, I can pull this one off so I can show you. 
Like this guy here is, is really good because he's got leaves all the way down. But this guy, see how he's like bald here until here? This is a sign of under pruning because these guys do really well with regular pruning. And you can see the way this grew here, it's kind of at a corner. And you see where it had been pruned, but then I didn't prune it properly because it didn't, the leaves that might have been on it didn't make it and decided to just grow a new point. Yeah. Would I recommend this for first time plant owners? Uh, yes and no. Be because of the way it's, it likes to be watered, this plant is dandy for first time plant owners. However, because of the lighting situation and to avoid the spindly growth, because not, uh, not everybody understands that, they think, oh, they might be doing something wrong, then they might start overwatering it and whatnot. If you can't put this in bright light, I would not suggest getting it for first time plant owners. If you can, then yes. Because like I said, normally these guys are like a bright purple. And mine is green because he's in low light because of suicidal Gwen. So yeah, so hopefully the video comes out good and I can do better once I can catch up on things and purchase a new computer. So if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, thumbs down. Everybody has a right to their opinion. If you really like the video, subscribe. And as always, live long, plant on.